my name is Moira. Um, I work in Adelaide, I work with people with intellectual disabilities and I um, do a bit of teaching at Flinders Uni as well. Um, and I decided to come on this retreat because I've done some small retreats with Peter and I've done some of the Buddhist teachings with him down south. Um, and I like the way he teaches, so I had confidence in the retreat before I even came. Um, and I'd, I'd booked five weeks off work, four of them I was going away and I was going to have a week just at home to get back into the swing of things and the, the week fitted exactly with this retreat so I thought it's meant to be so I'm going to come. So I did just that. <laughs> I've been to Bali twice before and I said I would never go to Bali again, I wasn't that keen about going to Bali actually. But when I arrived here I thought it was stunningly beautiful, very unlike the south of Bali. Um, and it, it exceeded my expectations. Absolutely right. love it. Right. I love all the little pathways uh, with, with all the lush greenery around it because um, you just feel so alone. There's other people here, but you, you can just sort of wander and feel like you're the only person here. I absolutely adore the room I've got. It's um, overlooking the ocean. I can actually see the ocean from my bed. It's got windows all the way around that I can have open all night so the wind's blowing through. Um, it's just a gorgeous place to be. Um, I found the content excellent. A lot of it I've done before, so it's sort of just making me go over that, but I, I find that I need that constant, what's the word? I, I need constantly to be reminded of things that I know, and, and, and an opportunity to practice them is more than anything, so I've been able to practice things here. Um, I've just found them really, really interesting, really good, and they actually work. That's, that's the main thing. Um, I was to do a walking meditation, and just to look for something that, that might give us an insight. Um, I thought I knew what I was looking for, I thought I knew what I would see, but I saw exactly opposite to what I presumed I would find. Um, and it just gave me this incredible sense of peace, I felt my shoulders drop, and it was a massive, a massive moment for me. So it's, and you know, it said on, before I came to the retreat, it said on the information, Maybe this is the retreat that will change your life. And I thought, well, yeah, we'll see. I feel that moment really, really made a massive difference to changing my life. Great. I'm going to make a couple of clear decisions, but I'm going to keep some things around me that I was ready to get rid of. And I now realise that these things around me are, are an enormous support and a comfort, and that I can sort of still grow, but within the middle of that, if I'm given the space around myself to grow. <laughs> I loved going to a Balinese village. I mean, it's, it's the real, real Bali, and it's what everyone that goes to Kuta should see, that the way these people live very, very differently to us. I will never barter money for anything. If I've got the money, I'm going to pay the price they ask me, because they deserve it and they need it. Um, we went to a spiritual healer, and that was... Um, a very interesting experience. <laughs> it was entertaining and enlightening. I really enjoyed doing that. Yeah. Oh, I would, I would say definitely do it. And in fact, I, I want all my daughters to do it. <laughs> I'm, I'm going to be starting talking people into doing it. Just because I think you need that time to yourself. And maybe even don't come with a friend or a family member. Come on your own. I think that that would be a really good thing to do. You know, don't wait for someone else to say, oh, I'll do it as well. Just come on your own. It's a very supportive atmosphere. Um, it'll be nice and safe and it just gives you time to look inwards where all the answers are.